Welcome to section five. You've made it to the last section of the course: stylizing and outputting professional geospatial tools. In this section, we will start with learning how to georeference a raster layer. Continuing on, output a professional map from QGIS that is presentation ready. Next up, we will learn to stylize spatial layers and make it the best suitable product for your purpose. And gain a critical view of the various geospatial products out there. Then we will create a georeferenced PDF for field navigation. And following that, we will conclude and provide you with resources. The aim of this section is to cultivate a sense of what to look for when you are critically evaluating and actively producing geospatial products. This is the first video georeferencing a raster layer. Georeference is the process of using an image captured from cameras or from aerial photographic equipment. It is widely used in ortho rectification, photogrammetry, and research in natural and applied science. To georeference an image, we need to consider the possible distortions, and there are different ways to transform it from its capturing point. From the point of capturing to a flatly laid map, a linear transformation is basically to flat lay the image without further processing it, whereas a polynomial transformation fits a curve to the data points using least square method for the image. It is good for global accuracy, but less so on regional scales. A good way is to give it as many Reference points as you can. To do that, you can have ground control points with recording GPS. Imagine a crumbled up paper, and we want to reflect that on a 2D surface. Polynomial transformation could be a selected method for that process. Projective transformation is linear rotation and translation without further dealing with unflatness of the layer. So we will start our georeferencing. Process. You are given an image within your data folder, and we will put in this into QGIS. So these points provided here are the four corners of the image to be georeferenced. Open up the video one georeference QGIS project, and we will activate our georeferencer tool from plugin. It is already installed. We just need to check mark it. If you don't see it, you can type in georeferencer, gdal, and simply put a check mark around it. This will allow you to find it in the drop-down menu of raster tab. Clicking on it, you will be directed to this window. You can click Open Raster, the first icon. Navigate to your project folder. Choose the image for georeferencer, PNG and hit open. Okay, so this is the image we'll be working with. We will use the add point tool to start referencing or assigning geographic coordinates for the image. Click using the pointer and we will use the points given on the slides. This is the top left point and these are the X and Y coordinates that I'm supplying you with. Paste them to the window. Hit OK and continue with the other three. Next up, we have the bottom left corner. Use the pointer to add a reference point at the bottom left and supply the x, y coordinates. OK, now you've established the four points at the corner of the image. When you are done with the four points, use the transformation setting. We will use the projective transformation here. As I know that it is a part of the map, it just lost the coordinates, so no further transformation will be required. And give it an output folder. Let's call it georeferenced image. It is a TIFF file. Okay. Once you're done, hit start georeferencing. Once it's successful, open up the TIFF file. And you can see that it's a continuation of this originally opened ortho photo. 
save the project. Now that you've learned to georeference an image, 